Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of my Darkness Falls series. So it is the morning of day 19. Well, not quite the morning yet. I have no idea what time of day it is. Middle of the night. I got a lot of stuff loaded up. We got some stuff here. Uh, that we're going to take back with us the two generator banks that we found yesterday. Rebar frames. You know, stuff for making ammo. The eggs, which we'll need. Some stuff for, co for cooking. All of the dyes. The black dyes are in the bike. Taking the two anvils back because we're going to need to make advanced forges. I'd rather not make anvils or buy them. Just easier to carry them back with me. Taking one of the two engines back. The honey, you know, gunpowder, stuff we can use to make ammo with. And then here, uh, so we got all the important stuff, I think, in here. This stuff we needed to leave in the bike, but um, the AK receiver, the auto rifle parts, which we need to make the SMG turret, right? We got an auto rifle barrel now. Uh, pistol grips, pistol parts and pistol receiver, which means we can make a better um, P-225 when we get back home. Uh, rifle schema uh, rifle thing, steel and, uh, and uh, forged iron, take it back with me. Generic schematics, uh, skill notes, we got 405. We should get a ton more today. I'm hoping for at least 200 more today. Don't know if we'll get 200, but hopefully somewhere around there. All the electrical and mechanical parts, because we're definitely going to need those. All the concrete that we made while we were here. 6,000 sand and 6,000 clay, just so we don't have to dig it up when we get back home. This We can make lots of concrete with this. Tool and die set for obvious reasons, since we don't have one yet. We definitely need it. The AK, the marksman rifle, and then the hazmat jacket and gloves. We both have black dye on them. So that's that. Um, so what we're going to do, once it turns morning here, which I don't know how long that's going to be. But we're going to head down to the Cracker Book, like I said. Oh, it's pretty close. We're going to head down to the crack of book like I said we were going to do. We're going to loot that place, grab as much skill notes as we can, or uh, whatever, out of the place. Um, get right back on the bike, come back here, grab everything out of the box, and then we're just going to head home. Uh, I did a little bit of updating on Hugh's place here. We updated the first three levels here to, to wood, and whatever I could get to cobblestone, I did to cobblestone. There's a few, just a few spots, like around the doors I did to cobble and stuff. So just a little bit beyond where the traders are. Uh, yeah, so as I was saying the other, the other day about turning this place into a fortress, if we were going to do that, if this was our starting place, you've got basically this, this would be your fort here, I think. You live in the trader. This would be where your horde was, base was going to be. And then you fortify the turrets around the base. Like you'd have to fix, somehow fix this corner up a little bit, making sure this, like, like, no one can get up the stairs fix where these guys are here um, and then the same thing along this wall sort of fix where these guys are here right but then the rest of this stuff like all oh, this could probably come out you know this could turn into a moat with spikes in it uh, pull this out replace it with a drawbridge like you could do a bunch of stuff here like and you, you could extend the pit out behind like knock that wall out extend the pit out behind and around uh, where the guard tower is over there, and where this guard tower is here, you could extend it around there, fill it with spikes, and then you wouldn't hold down the horde here, but you would reinforce this so that they won't, no one could break in, and then this is where you would fight the horde, either here or, like, in this courtyard somehow. At least that's my thought anyway, I don't know, I gotta have to think more on it, but that's my immediate thought. Alright, let's get the bike out here. A shitty day to be driving on the bike, but whatever. Let's get down to that crack of book. So I've been trying to decide what we would do if we were able to get a mastery book. Like which mastery we would take? That's that's Shamway, okay. Um, and I don't know. I'm, I, I'm up in the air. Farmer for some reason gives you the SMG. Um, if you do skill mastery for a farmer. If we do the mechanic one, ooh, I saw a guy drop there. If we do the mechanic one, then we can make like cars and motorcycles and things like that, which is probably, you know, a good way to go, I think. Got anybody in here? Ooh. Wake up, bloated walker. You got big mama. It might very well be the way to go. And either get... Oop, your pants are ripping. Get a motorbike. 
because motorbikes are definitely way better off-road than vehicles like the regular vehicles are uh, so we either get a motorbike or make one of the cars that are in the game we got another sleeper up here to the right okay it's you and you and you oh you're feral Die shot takes you out. Oh, we got another one down here. I really, I really apologize for this lady. Live or dead, no one deserves that. Okay, we got Mo over here. See ya. Can we have anybody behind here? We do. We did. Good night. We got another one up over here. Yeah, this feels like the old seven days to die with the number of zombies in here. Ooh. Oh, I whiffed that one. There we go. Yeah, they used to just be everywhere. I used to love that. Like, like it was so much more challenging. Ooh. So much more challenging. Why... Who am I hearing? Maybe somebody in the back room? Okay, let's grab the bags. And then we'll go clear out the back room. Where were you? Outside? On the roof, maybe? Oh, I think they're on the roof. No. Back room? You know what? They're on the roof beating down. They didn't they're not smart enough to jump off. That's what it is. Yep, they're not smart enough to jump off there. Well, this should be fun. Hey guys. Whoops. Not mean to do that. Who we take out first? You. You. Spiders inside, I think. Exchange of blows! Ooh! How was that helping you, is it? You got a piece of me somehow. There's two of them! Got a piece of me. I don't want to use the, uh... God, but I'm going to have to in a minute. Wow, they broke a block out up there already. We got one of the spiders, and somehow this guy is still able to get a piece of me. Jump, you bastard. That's a lot of people in the bathroom. I don't know how that guy got a piece of me. Honestly, don't. Whatever. Wake the fuck up. That guy's feral. No, he's not. He's dead is what he is. How'd you, where'd you come from? wonder if he was on the roof. You know what? Let's go get that roof. I think we got everybody up here, though. 
So yeah, someone's breaking in the front. They probably came, uh... Yep, from the roof. Ooh, see ya! Alright, let's loot this place. Oh wait, we can't. We got that one room still to go. I mean, we could, but... Oh shit! I scared the hell- Oh, he's in there! Goddamn monkeys! I'll take- I'll take three feral tourists over a spider monkey any day. God damn it, that guy scared the hell out of me. We're getting lots of, uh, weapon parts. That's awesome. I thought he was in there. Now ah, we're infected. Oh. I saw the one guy's hand. It's a friggin' spider, too. God damn it. Fucking hate those things. Alright. Let's loot this sucker now. Now we've got the opportunity to do it. Oh, I really hope we get some good stuff out of this place. So far everything we've already got. I don't think there's really anything we need need. Wait, was that an actual grenade in there? No, it's just a schematic. So we got the mini bikes. Um, grenades, we got you, we got you. Reloading's maxed out. Reloading's maxed out. Steel armor we don't need. Shotguns we've already got. Oh, wait. You know what? Okay. I'm interested to see this here. So, I know we've read shotguns before. I know we've read them before. So if we go down here, it says we don't have the shotgun crafting. So if I go ahead and take this now, does it just open it up or does it give me the point? It does give me the point. Okay, well, that's interesting. Because I do remember using that before. I do remember using that before, unless I was an idiot and sold it, which could probably be likely, because you know me. Okay, let's just go in here. Well, we definitely had a full roster, that's for sure. Uh, where did I picked up this stuff? We don't want that. Full roster in here and outside. That's kind of cool. Uh, scrap that. Uh, we'll scrap this. Take the rest. I think I'm good on the poop. Well, what do you know? He was... I don't know what he was looking for. Looking to die, probably. Alright, let's see what we got here. So we got the auger schematic. Which we should already know. Unless that's in the... I gotta look and see. So we're not gonna scrap the auger. We'll hold on to it and see if it's actually somewhere else. So steel tools we know we got. That we don't. That will break open in a second. Okay, let's... Because uh, I thought... Maybe we haven't taken this skill yet. I think it's tier 5 in... Um, or the... Sorry, not tier 5. Yeah, the 5th tier of... Um, yeah, I think it's 5th tier in uh, our class. Hang on a second. You know me and two things at once. Can't be done, right? Alright, okay. So, if we look at... Uh, laborer class. Now, we got maximum hammer and forge. We make steel tools. Maybe it's here. Yeah, auger and chainsaw recipes are here. So I'm not going to bother because we're going to get it soon enough anyway. Right? I'll be going down. You know what? 
There we go. Got it now. We're getting we're getting levels fast, so that's fine. Go ahead and scrap as much as this as we can. Didn't get as much as I was hoping for here. But not bad, not bad. I mean, I don't know. It is what it is. Oh, that's not bad either. Got that one right. We did. Okay, well. Oh, actually, wait a minute. Okay, so I read this already. I read the bow schematic already. I know I did. So, it says I don't have it. Because I was looking at that the other day. Um, well, in game day. This is really the third, ga <laughs> third day of playing this series for me. I've been playing three days straight, pretty much, this thing. So, uh, let's see here. No, uh, here. So the bow crafting was here. We have tier one bow crafting, right? But I, I know we read this book for the count compound crossbow and, and regular crossbow recipes. So I don't know why it's not showing up. Maybe it just gave me tier one for that. I don't, I don't understand that. Yeah, now I got tier two. All right, whatever. So anytime we find the Winchester rifle or double barrel shotgun, there's already a few left that we need. So butchering tools, wait a minute. Weapon crafting four, that's a machete. Titanium hunting knife. So I guess I should be reading those extra butchering tools and stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I'm probably missing something important, but whatever. Alright, let's get back. Grab the shiz from the trader and head home. Alright, so I got another one of those... Uh, uh, console HUD, HUD, HUD pop-ups. I have no idea why. And why do I... Why did I all of a sudden lose mouse control on my uh, bike? That is so weird. That is so bizarre. The HUD came up. I clicked it off. And then I was only able to control my bike with my arrow keys. Alright, let's get out of here. I should say goodbye to Hugh and his uh, guard captain, but... You know... His beard in real in the in the game is almost as big as well. It's actually a little bit bigger than mine is in real life. But I'm gonna be losing it. It's, this is my uh, this is my um, COVID beard. He used to uh, when we we would go on shoots and stuff, uh, like film like film sets and all that. I would uh, every like it was me and the, the guys I went to school with. We would always grow beards, so it was like it was your shoot beard, right? Just to see how long it, you could get over the over the time you were on the shoot, and because my beard grows really fast, right? It, it, I always always had the longest beard at the end of the time. So uh, I decided partway through COVID, I decided I'm going to grow a COVID beard. So that's kind of what I got going on right now, and it's as long as it's ever been. My beard's ever been, and it's uh, bugging the shit out of me. And every time I'm hoping to shave it off, uh, there's always another lockdown. And I'm like, ah, god damn it! All right, so. But you know what? I don't really care about the lockdowns. Some people have got issues with lockdowns and stuff, but you know what? I, I just, I see it as saving lives. So you gotta wear masks, so what? Big deal, you know? And you could say, oh, it, you know, for the people that say it infringes on your freedom, sure, you know what? And so does wearing a seatbelt, you know? And so, is, so does having a safety on a firearm. You know, or so does blanks on a set, like, for a gun. Like, there's, there's, you could complain about it all you want, but there's a lot worse things in the world than having to wear a friggin' mask, you know? And in the end, like, here's the thing is, you know, you could be a uh, asymptomatic carrier, meaning you don't have any symptoms, yet you got COVID and not know it. And then you could spread it to a whole bunch of people. 
and not know it. And some of those people could die, and you would never know that. So you have no idea if you're actually killing people or not. And you could say, well, that's an extreme case. Sure, maybe it is an extreme case, but it is a case, right? That shit happens. You don't know if it's you or not. And like I said, and, and plenty, like, plenty of times in the past, the odds, right? So what? You have a 99.9% .9 chance of it not being you. That's not 100%, and it's never going to be guaranteed it's not you, right? Shit could happen. So, and do you, I mean, do we go around in the world, like, you could say, well, you know, I'm driving my car, and I could get hit and killed. Sure, you could get hit and killed, but you're wearing a seatbelt, and the car manufacturer has spent time making sure the automobile is probably as safe as it possibly could be, so you wouldn't get killed in a car crash, which is exactly what a mask is for. It is your seatbelt, and it is all the safety regulations that the car goes through before you get in it to keep you alive. The mask is the same thing. So it inconveniences you a little bit. I used to hate having to wear my seatbelt when they first implemented that law. I couldn't stand it. I thought, this is ridiculous. But you know what? Now I don't even notice it. Now I go out with a mask. It's like I get out of the car, instantly put a mask on and walk in. Don't even notice it. So what? Right? So what? So it inconveniences you a tiny bit. No big deal. Right? Yeah, there's freedoms in the world, and I'm all for freedom. Right? And I think... It, you know, I've heard it said that, you know, in a free society, people should be given maximal freedom. Like, everyone gets maximum freedom. And then you begin restricting based on, you know, what the risk to others is. Right? It's not the risk to yourself. It's the risk to others. Because just because you, you live in a free society, right, does not mean you're free to cause harm to other people. Right? We all live together. We all gotta we all gotta live in the same area together. We all gotta like, you know, work in the same areas together. Right? There's the social contract that people have because we all have to live in a society, right? And if wearing a mask is part of that social contract, so be it. No big deal. You know, and it's funny because I you know, living in Canada, like I live in Ontario, so like we have OHIP, right? Ontario Health Insurance Program. So most of our medical stuff is covered. Some things aren't, but most of our medical is covered, right? And I've got it. I still do have uh, additional insurance for things that aren't covered, right? Like eyeglasses or, you know, dental, things like that. But for the health and well-being of society, I'm willing to pay extra taxes so that people who don't have the ability to, you know, uh, go in and get a cast put on their leg because they broke their leg, you know, or you know, open heart surgery, you have a heart attack, right? Things like that. It's like those things are just going to, you know, create a better society overall, right? And the reason why I say that is because, you know, yeah, it's happening to the to the one person. Sure, it happened to one person, no big deal, right? But um, it's also the effect of the family around them. They all got to take time off work, right? It's going to cost them a shit ton of money. Right, it, it ultimately affects the economy. So the money that uh, we're paying into insurance, right? The idea is that it goes back into the economy, right? From people being able to work, not having to take work off to be able to look after somebody because they're ill, things like that. And it, is it perfect? No, no system's perfect. There's not a, no matter what you do, it's never going to be perfect, right? But what the the goal is is you try and get it as close to perfect as possible, right? That's all it is. Yeah, lots of stuff could be done, but anyway, that's my that's my driver's rant. I drove all the way back here, had a little bit of rant. We get to say hi to everybody. All right, let's get some shit done in here. So we need to figure out what we're doing with this. I say we take all these blocks out here so that the tall zombies can get in. We'll leave the door open. Actually, I'm gonna take this door out and flip it around so it opens inward. I think that's going to be better, because I think right now, right, it blocks them. Like, you're trying to walk through here, it kind of blocks their line of sight, and their, their view. So, I think we take the door out, reverse it. I think it, when you place the door, does it open towards you or away from you? I think it's away from you. 
can't remember. All right, let's grab the stuff out of the bike. So you guys. Wait, wrong way, this way. Right? Yeah, that's it. And then the stuff we need in the bike stays in there, right? Yeah, okay, cool. We gotta take care of our infection too. I forgot to do that before we left. Oop, I should probably leave that there. Okay, um, where is, uh, you know what, we got herbal antibiotics, I think, in here. So let's use those instead of the honey. If we get a huge stock, actually, does this, this guy's got honey, right? Uh, oh yeah, you got, just buy it, what the hell. Much okay, obliged, stranger. yeah, thank you for having it. Let's go ahead and use you. Get rid of the infection. Now the abrasion we need, what do we need for the abrasion? Is it just one of these guys? 30 minutes. Okay, well, that's fine. Let's get this stuff put away, and then we're going to figure out what to do after that. Alright, so that's pretty much everything put away. Let's put the tool and die set in here for now. Okay, so the concrete, or cement, sorry, is done in there. Let's grab uh, our stone and our sand. Get that going. Okay. Um, those can go back away. These are for sale. We're going to take them down to the trader now. Uh, let's bring the concrete out and the, this out. And what else do we have to put away here? Uh, that's it. We're going to go ahead and... Where's our helmet here? I'm going to modify you. Take these things out. And then we're going to go ahead and... Uh, wait a minute. Where are you? Take you out of there. We need orange for this helmet. Yeah, it repairs it a little bit. All right. You know, it's worth it, I guess. Oh, we gotta put one in there. Hey, what? Why is the helmet light not coming on? Um... What the heck? Is it because I'm holding that? I've lost my... Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Uh, uh, well, I can't say my life's not boring. Uh, or, or I can't say my life is boring, that is. Oh my god. Okay, wait, we need four iron. And uh, we need to get a... Before we go down, let's go ahead and get a... Um, where are you here? Rolling garage door, five by three. That's three high, right? Maybe we use that. Ooh, sci-fi double door? That's pretty cool. Sci-fi... We're gonna have to get some of these doors. All right, rolling garage door, I think we take... We, we're going to use that, I think. I don't know if it's got the same amount of hit points, though. Springs are mechanical parts and forged iron. So, there's some steel forged iron, springs, and mechanical parts. So, let's get that door going. Rolling garage door, crap. So, let's go down and make some room for that. Uh, let's hold on to that, though. We might need it. We might need this. Hopefully we don't accidentally upgrade stuff with it, but see how it goes. All right, uh, so we're going to take this door out. Let's go ahead and knock out all the other stuff first. So it's a 5 by 3 which means it's 3 high. And I think it opens away from us. So we need to knock out this as well. Uh, which means this has got very little protection from falling. Oh, I think I'm okay with that, though. I think it's. I think just having that one line on each side will be enough. We'll find a way to reinforce it. I think if we... Um, I think... You know what we should do, too? I don't know if this is causing an issue with the um, guards not shooting targets down here. Oh, yeah, that's enough. Why? Well, there'll be two on this side and two on this side. Oh well, yeah, that'll be fine. Take the torch. 
Yeah, that'll be fine. Take this out. Okay, that should drop. Excellent. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out. I, I should have done this before. I, I said I, I should have taken these guys out. Uh, well, this one's gone already anyway. But I think I was right. I think that should have been gone. Let's take this guy out. Okay, now we gotta take out these sides. Okay, before I go any further, I'm gonna go get the rebar frames. We've got a bunch of rebar frame. And we might as well use it. Actually, I should probably make more. Let's go ahead. Uh, where are we here? Not you. Uh, iron is up here. And we need clay. Let's make the rebar in here. Rebar. Let's make 200. Get that started. Yeah. Definitely going to use it. Oh shoot, you know what I'm... <laughs> yeah. I started the rebar frame, but I did not grab the frames that we did do have up here already. Let's get rid of you for now. Okay. Before we do anything, and shit gets crazy here. Don't have any steel yet to fix that. We'll get some in a minute. Or iron, that is. Put you in. So this wall's all going to be reinforced. I, th I think it does need to be that deep too, though. I think it needs to be that deep. Alright, let's hope we don't get another screamer here. Actually, let's hold off and get you last. Will I? Will I suffer? I don't think I will. Just saying. Don't mind wasting a bit of ammo on those guys. Not really a waste. Alright, let's go get, before we do any more. Hopefully that door is done. Now the only problem with this door is I can't... That's not. Five more minutes. Damn it. So I can't really... Oops. Let's go ahead. We need to get iron. They're banging on the door. Well, they're helping me. See, I'd be mad. I would be really, really mad if uh, I wasn't planning on removing that door anyway. How many of them are there? All right. So. Mind you, guys. I'm over here. All right. I gotta go get him. God damn it. I give you every opportunity. It's a good thing that the guards can't shoot down here or I'd have been dead. Like, they're, this is blocking them. I have to knock all that out. I have to do something. Because their visual, like their vision is really, really impaired. So, we got to do something to get that fixed. Okay, let's get this updated. Okay. Now, um, what about out here? So these guys all have to get updated. Christ, my character sounds like me in real life right now. My stomach is like going off. Starving. I can't stop playing. It's crazy. I can't stop. Must not stop. Okay, let's do this and this. Same over here. This and this. Cobble. I don't have any cobble on me. Alright, let's go get some cobblestone. I'm gonna jam a little cook sham in me first though. Excellent. Uh cobble, right? That's what we're here for. Cobblestone. Pretty sure. How much more concrete do we have here? Ooh, that's nice. 
Ah, oh, we're barely burning through it though. We still got tons left. So we're gonna have to do up we're gonna update the trader's place. To make sure it's all reinforced. Oh, I should have checked to see. Oh, we got we had five minutes, so it's probably not done yet. But this does need to be down here. I'm gonna have to dig down under here too. And get this all reinforced in case like a cop or something blows up inside here. Alright, nice. So I think before we place this though, we should probably do this. Okay. So those guys. Then we need two on this side, right? One, two. Excellent. Okay, so this should go right here. And of course the texture's messed up, but... Now the only question is, is this going to be high enough for the zombies to get through? Are they going to bang their head on this? Well, only one way to find out, and that's the next Horde Night. We'll figure that out. If that's the case, then that's the case. Nothing we can do about it. We'll have to replace it. Following day. And that's fine, I guess. So these guys... I think they're shooting this. That's what I think. I think that's what that's from, is they're shooting that. Alright, well, let's keep getting this stuff updated. Getting some juicy XP for this, too. Now, let's go ahead and do this as well. Actually, we'll do a rebar frame. Get that updated. Then over here, we'll do this part the same way. Okay, excellent. Update the rest of the trader's place. It would be nice if she could be protected primarily by steel for the next Horde Knight, but I don't think that's going to be possible. Maybe. I mean, if I just... I gotta mine a lot of iron tonight, then. And then tomorrow, we just crank out the steel production. Get all of our forges working on steel. It could be done. We could update this, the steel. Theoretically. Oh, this isn't even up concrete yet. All right, let's go inside. Good morning to my favorite customer. Hey, what's up? It's been a while, I know. Went off talking to Hugh. He's a bit of a dick, but you know, shit needs to be done. Got his base partially upgraded. I mean, not like this one, of course, because you know, this is where we live. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Feeling better about this place now. Uh, let's get a vault door going tonight. Maybe a couple of vault doors. Because I could probably do like a double double vault door on Jen's building. One on the outside, one on the inside. So if they ever do decide to try and smash her door down, there's a second door on the inside that'll just stop them from uh, getting in. Right, that's probably pretty good for now. This should probably be... This wasn't my intention for the final base though, so I don't know if I want to do any more to this. I don't think so. I don't think we do that. Ow. Well, at least all our plants are now growing at the same time. Okay, well that's harvested. God, this thing is looking terrible. We gotta move it too. It's gotta go over here. Or not. I mean, our, or, our, or our horde base does not stay here. It's gotta go too. It does. I mean, we could use it as a primary... I don't know. Let me think about it. 
I think we're ready though for uh, the next horde night. They can all of them can fit through this door now. You know? And hopefully because it's so big too, they'll see it as the way to get to me rather than try to cut cut through walls and stuff. Or maybe I make more doors and put them around the outside. We build like a uh, bunker like this around the outside. All right, we got to get the ones in here. There. Come on. Oh, you're not dry yet, probably. And same here. Okay, that guy. That guy. And then we got to get the ones up in here. These guys ones probably not dry yet. Because we did these guys last, yeah. So they're probably not dry, just inside here. Oh, that one's ready. This one's not. Okay, I think it puts this tower in play as being half decent now. I think that's got 10,000 hit points too, Not mistake. if I'm not mistaken. Find out here in a second. I'm going to give it a quick punch just to see. Okay. And you. If it's down. 7,500. So it's the same as the other door. With the exception that the other door is three levels of 250. Or 2,500. And this is one level of 7,500. Which means they're going to see this is not necessarily the way to get in. So I don't know if that's going to work. We'll have to test it out on Horde Night to see if um, they actually see... Like the tall zombies may not see that as a way to get to me. If it's not... I don't know. Ah, well. We'll... We'll just see. I don't know. All right, I'm going to dig up this part here and lay down some rebar frame blocks so at least this whole part is reinforced. And then uh, go down in the mine and do some mining. But I'm going to end the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If it did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Till next time, we'll see you later.